Hi guys, we're now going to talk about deployment policies. You, know, you need to know these in detail for the exam. They definitely come up quite regularly. And there's several of them. I'm going to cover them very quickly on this page. And then we're going to go into more detail. So firstly, there's all at once. And this is what we've been doing so far when we updated a version. It basically took down our application and updated it. But if we had more instances, if we had several instances, it would still take them all down at once. Then there's rolling, where you update a batch of instances and then move on to the next batch. Then there's rolling with additional batch, which is the same as rolling, but you launch an additional batch so that you've still got 100% application capacity at all times. We then have immutable, where a whole new auto scaling group is deployed with the new version of the code. And then your existing auto scaling group instances are updated and then the new auto scaling group is, is removed. We then have blue green, which is not exactly Elastic Beanstalk, but we create a new staging environment and deploy the updates onto that environment. And then we direct a certain amount of traffic there. So let's have a look at these in a bit more detail. Firstly, there's the all at once. And this is what we've done in the previous lesson. In this case, you take down all instances. So whether you've got one or 10, it doesn't matter. All instances are taken down and the update is applied. Now that might be a quick update or it could be a lengthy one, but the point is your application is taken down, so clearly not for production. Then once that's complete, great, you're on the new version. So all the instances are updated simultaneously. They're all out of service while the deployment takes place. This is the fastest way to deploy your update. Good for very quick iterations in development, but you wouldn't really want to use it in other environments like especially production. So you're going to experience an outage. If the update fails, you do need to then roll back the changes by deploying or redeploying the original version of the code to your instances. There's no additional cost to this because no additional instances are launched. We've then got the rolling update. So in this case, what happens is a batch of instances are taken down and you can configure the percentage or the batch size. So in this case, we have four instances and we've configured a batch size of two, but it could have been a batch size of one, or we could have 20 instances and still have a batch size of two, and it would just take two instances down at a time. When they're updated, it moves on. So that means you have a certain percentage of your instances are taken down at a time. Clearly in this instance, that would be 50% because we've only got four instances. But if you configure a batch size of one, then you'd have had 25% of your environment down for an update at any one time. So this is where a batch is updated and then it moves on to the next batch. So you've got downtime for one batch at a time and you've got a period in time where your application is running two different versions because you've got those instances that have been updated and those instances that are yet to be updated. Each batch is taken out of service while the deployment takes place. And that means that your environment's going to be reduced in capacity by the number of instances in a batch. Not good for performance sensitive systems if your capacity is reduced and you need that capacity to perform properly, then obviously this is not going to work. Again, you have to perform another update to roll back the changes if the update fails. Again, there's no additional cost because you're not introducing new instances. But this does take a long time. Now we then have the rolling with additional batch. So in this case, we've actually launched two new instances because that's our batch size. It could have been one for instance or two or, or whatever we want it to be. We choose the batch size and we'll see that in the console. Then we take out two instances that corresponds with our batch size. So we have two to replace these two essentially. When they're updated, then the next two. So it's like rolling, but you have new instances launched. And that means that your application has full capacity at all times. You can set the batch size. And again, you are going to have a point where you have versions, your instances running two different versions at the same time. There's an additional cost corresponding with the size of the batch. At the end, the additional batch is removed so you're back to your normal instance size or your normal capacity of instances. This also takes a long time. But this is better for production environments because you're not reducing your capacity. We then have an immutable update. In this case, a new auto scaling group is installed or launched. And that 
gets updated with the code. So that's going to run the new version of the code. And what happens then is you can actually cut over to that new auto scaling group and remove your existing auto scaling group. So in this case, it launches new instances in a new auto scaling group, deploys the version updates to the instances before swapping the traffic to these new instances once they're healthy. There's zero downtime, new code goes to the new instances. This is higher cost, it's the highest cost of these because you have to double the number of instances running for the period of time that the update takes place. And this can take a long time, again, because you have to launch all those new instances. But there's a quick rollback in case of failures because you haven't modified your existing instances. Good for production environments. We now have Elastic Beanstalk with the blue-green method. Now, this isn't exactly an Elastic Beanstalk feature because what you're doing is you're essentially just launching a new environment. So you've got your existing environment on version 1. You have your new environment, which you've launched, with version 2 of the code. And then you use Route 53 weighted routing policies to direct a certain percentage of the traffic to the new environment. Once you're happy that it's working, then you can cut over all the traffic to the new environment and remove your old environment. So in this case, it's not exactly a feature of Elastic Beanstalk. You create the new staging environment, deploy your updates there. Then the new environment can be validated and you can easily roll back if you have any issues with it. So you can use Route 53, there's obviously other methods as well, but Route 53 with weighted routing policies is one way to direct traffic to that environment. And then you can easily swap the URLs within Elastic Beanstalk when you're finished with the testing. Again, there's zero downtime because you have a whole new environment running with the new code on it. So that's it for the theory. What we will do is actually go into the console. We're going to build an environment and we're going to have a look at how we can update using one of these methods. So that should be a lot of fun. See you in the next lesson.